Johnny Depp is one of the most loved and well-known actors to date. You enjoy being with him. You enjoy working with him. There's no bad side to the man. I've never seen him be anything but charming with everybody on set. He's incredibly charismatic and brilliant. His roles in iconic movies such as the Pirates of the Caribbean series, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Alice in Wonderland, and many others have helped him rise to fame and even earn him a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You'd think that given the outgoing and extroverted nature of the characters he has played that his personality would sort of follow suit. But it's quite the opposite. I'm very shy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, if, if I can be accused of anything at all, it's, I'm, not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the most uh, uh, outgoing. And... Johnny Depp is an introvert by anyone's definition, which goes to show how versatile of an actor he is. What does Johnny Depp do that makes people feel so attracted to him? Obviously, he is successful and good-looking, but there's more to creating attraction than just good looks and success. There are a number of successful good-looking actors who don't even come close to generating the same attraction and likability Johnny Depp does. Today on How To Charisma, we're going to look at six things Johnny Depp does that create attraction. These rules will apply whether you're just talking with your family or if you're interested in dating someone and anywhere in between. The first thing you'll notice about Johnny Depp is his quiet, calming voice. I mean, sitting in a, you know, in a, in a great big, uh, you know, like a giant conference room, uh, speaking with grown men about, you know, how many gold teeth and how many, you know, dangly bits from your hair. Many people assume that being charismatic and having a louder, more extroverted personality go hand in hand, but that's just not true. Johnny uses his quiet voice to his advantage in a number of ways. One of them being how he delivers punchlines of jokes that you'd expect him to be smiling ear to ear, but instead he keeps a straight face, which in turn makes him infinitely funnier. And the sea parted, and he arrived. <laughs> and then we shook hands, and then we went back to his house and built a bomb. <laughs> and I, 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 I shot it with a shotgun. And it went off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you built a good bomb. 80-foot fireball, yeah, huge. Most of the time, introverts have quieter voices, so instead of feeling like you have to force yourself to be louder, try using your quieter voice to your advantage to tell stories and deliver punchlines of jokes. Is that, is that real? Do they really do that? not believe me, no. No, right. So no, what do they no. do? Get... Everybody came out with guns and things like that. And you wow. <laughs> if you can expand your responses and work on your storytelling, people are going to look forward to hearing you speak every time. Also, while this sense of humor is hilarious, it's still very important to smile at least sometimes. Smiling is an instant way to create attraction with someone without saying a word and lets people know that not everything you say should be taken completely seriously. The second thing we can learn from Johnny Depp is how he uses physical touch to create attraction. <laughs> Johnny Depp. <laughs> because of Johnny's introverted nature, you'll see that oftentimes when he's in an interview with a group of people, he's more reserved. But when he's by himself, he tends to be more outgoing and controlling of the conversation. While he may not speak a ton during some of these interviews, he uses physical touch, which immediately makes the other person feel a connection with him and want to be around him more. Take a look at this clip of Johnny welcoming Michelle Pfeiffer. Now, obviously, there are right and wrong ways to do this. You shouldn't just walk into the first day at a new job and immediately start hugging people. That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. We're not, we're not there yet. Bye. You might start with just a handshake, but a general rule is the shoulders, hands, arms, and upper back are safe depending on who the person is to you. Nine times out of 10, whenever Johnny utilizes this tactic, it is one of those four areas. <laughs> but you did <didn't. laughs> These four areas are good places to start and will make the other person feel attraction without feeling like you crossed any boundaries. Third is how he makes it clear that he's actively listening. Have you ever had a conversation with someone and the whole time you're speaking, it feels like they're ready to interrupt you, like everything you're saying is going in one ear and out the other? Then, when you finish talking, they start talking about whatever was on their mind without any acknowledgement for what you said. Johnny uses a few methods to ensure the other person feels like they're being listened to. One thing he does is he repeats back to the other person part or all of what they said. All right. What is your favorite, oh. what is your favorite swear word? Um, 
favorite swear word? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'll keep it clean. Bollocks. By repeating what they said back to them, it not only shows that you are listening, but it also gives you a little extra time to figure out what you're going to say. Another way you can show you are actively listening is to try finishing their sentences. So, uh, so the, the woman you're, uh, who's been on the show, by the way? Amber, yeah. Oh, love I find this to be one of the best ways to create attraction because it creates the feeling that you have things in common and share some of the same thoughts and opinions. And lastly, the easiest way to show that you're actively listening is through simply nodding. For many people, this is a natural response when they're listening to someone. Johnny Depp and pretty much any other well-loved person uses this trick, and it has proven to better connect them with the other person they are speaking to. It has your business's name on it, you can give it to your clients, and they were like two bucks or two dollars and fifty cents each, and then the people got the pens and inevitably they were... While Johnny is often a quiet guy, that doesn't take away from his hilarious sense of humor. That mysterious aspect he has significantly contributes to people being obsessed with him. So what we can take from this is the way in which he uses humor as well as how he responds to others telling jokes. Because he is often reserved and holds a straight face, when he starts to smile, it gives the effect that whatever he is about to say is going to be hilarious. You know what I got? All of the iPhones in the world going, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a pretty good animatronic. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you're in a situation where you're going to tell a story or really anything you find funny, smile before you even start telling it and people will be drawn in. Like, pitted out laughing. Was that, uh, was that in the bathtub? <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't. I did wonder. <laughs> why the water was staying so pleasantly it warm. Was so warm. Laughter releases dopamine and creates a sense of euphoria, which in turn makes you want more. So what this means is the more you make people laugh, the more they are going to want to be around you. And though the method Johnny uses can make this happen much easier, you'll get to the point where saying almost anything will excite people around you. I did, yeah, last night. How many times have you been to China? Often? That was it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. The next one builds off his way of telling jokes, and that is just simply incorporating sarcasm. All right, I would ask you more, but, uh... But you don't oh, want God. You're not going to answer me honestly. I, I, will. I, I will. Out of all your co-stars, who's the best kisser? Javier Bardem. <laughs> all right. All right. Sarcasm is at the top in the hierarchy of humor, and it doesn't require a loud or outgoing personality to do it. In reality, sarcasm seems to better suit those who have introverted personalities. Johnny often uses it in his interviews, and it proves to be hilarious every time. With this, there are both right and wrong ways to be sarcastic. Excuse me, is this Sarcasm 101? No, it's Lamaze class from Men Named Arthur. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> it is Sarcasm 101. Be more gullible. Take any seat you want. Except that one. I'm kidding, sit down. <laughs> there are a few approaches to sarcasm, and Johnny seems to demonstrate all of them at one point or another. Johnny Depp has become known for being funny, and just overall having a great sense of humor. So naturally, over time, people have learned that many of the things he says may be sarcasm, and he's not completely serious even when he has a straight face. You can work up to this, but if right now you aren't particularly known for being sarcastic, then maybe this next trick will be better. Johnny will have a tell, especially when he knows what he's saying could be taken as a serious issue. A few examples of tells include acting like you're holding back a smile, changing your facial expression, or changing your tone of voice. Gut man. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, who decided that, you know, like a uh, two, uh, five, six inch uh, Yorkshire, t uh, teacup Yorkshire Terriers <laughs> uh, would harm the country in some way. He's got a point. <laughs> uh, especially when you consider that Australia has the most poisonous creatures on Earth. Also, if what you're saying is so ridiculous that it can't be serious, then a tell isn't really necessary. The last thing that can't be overlooked is Johnny's memorable gestures, whether serious or not. This is more than simply complimenting someone's hair, although that can't hurt. The gestures don't need to be serious, but they should be something that'll stick in the other person's head and they'll remember about you. Like but Johnny would give an award um, at the end of the day if he felt you had had a particularly good day of acting. Um, and he would give you one of his fingers. <laughs> I have it still. <laughs> That's really sweet. But, now, wait a minute. Combining humor with memorable gestures is a perfect recipe for attraction. Just don't take it too far. Memorable gestures, but in moderation. 
Basically, just don't suck up to the other person and shrink when they're around, then give them gifts as the cherry on top. Dwight, you should be running this office. Michael would never let me. There's countless examples of Johnny being thoughtful, but here's two more that I enjoyed. Wow! It's very Thank you! Well, I mean... Oh! Thanks! It's really wet? Yeah, it's wet. Yeah, well, it's no, it's wet. I can't touch it. He said it's... Flip it over? Back. What's oh. the back? What do you say? Dearest Ellen has promised an elephant for you. Hope she makes you smile now and again. Lots of love, many thanks, my respect always. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, there's Miranda, is it? Yes. So's mine. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. I have this. I have... <laughs> for that. It's clear that Johnny has a good mix of kindness and humor, which make him very likable. Obviously, I could talk for hours about Johnny Depp and all the things that he does that create attraction, but those six are what stood out to me. A couple honorable mentions include using hand gestures when speaking and being self-assured. Do you agree with the points we made? Do you have any that should be added? Let us know in the comments about that and who you'd like to see us analyze next. I hope this video has been helpful and you will consider subscribing. We have lots more videos like this coming in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.